Good morning. Oh, that is some weird lighting. Well, I just may have to turn around backwards in my seat to get some good lighting. I'm kind of parked in the shade. Again, not driving, people. Not driving. That cracked me up. That one that I did a couple weeks ago and somebody thought I was driving. I'm like, really? Because I'm using two hands, so I don't get that. I don't know what kind of driving skills you've got, but people think I'm leaving. I'm not leaving. Hi, guys. Hi, Melinda. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Stephanie. Yay, you made it live. All right. <clears throat> it seems as though I spend my Fridays um, going to appointments. And you know that Sherry is going to an appointment because Sherry has makeup on this early in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's very busy here. It's very, very busy. There's lots of people. They're distracting me. How's everybody? Yay. Okay. So listen. I want to talk about being a conversationalist. Do you know? Do you know how to carry a conversation? Do you know how to talk to a wall and entertain yourself? Because this is a very important skill to have. This is how you get to know people and this is how you make connections. This is how you network. I'm holding my phone so I can't do that. But this is how you network with people. This is how um, I discovered all sorts of fun information from my new dentist yesterday. Mm -hmm. And as I was walking out, I'm thinking, wow, he was a really nice guy. Um, but he couldn't carry a conversation in a bucket with two hands. No, he couldn't. Nice guy. Love him. I have no cavities, by the way. I'm very excited. I have spent so much time making sure everyone in my family gets to all their appointments and their dent and their dental needs are met that I have not been um, to the dentist myself in a while. No, in a while. Because my husband forgets that um, I am black status level two and can afford a dentist and he insists that I go to someone in network. I'm having a hard time finding someone in network. Thank you very much. Sorry about that sidebar, but I'm just saying, but I finally found someone in network that I like, okay? Because I'm not going to just take my teeth to anybody. I had some traumatic experiences as a child, um, but I found a really nice guy in my hometown. I love him. But, so here's what's interesting. So he, um, he, I walked in and the office lady was at lunch and there was no dental hygienist. Dr. Man cleaned my teeth, did my x-rays, did the whole shebang, flossed my teeth, polished. He did the whole thing. Okay. Crazy. So, um, nice guy smiled a lot, but it was just like, I, I mean, I, I heard like, er, Oh, God. And so it just made me think, you know, he would probably not be good at network marketing. <laughs> because you got to be able to talk to people. You know, I get asked all the time, and I'm sure you do too if you have anybody on your team, for the words to say. What do I say to somebody? Somebody said this. How do I respond? What do I say? What do I say? What do I say? I'm always happy to give ideas on what to say, but I like to do it in a way that it is, um, you know, the phrase uh, teaching you to fish as opposed to giving you a fish, right? You need to learn to develop these skills yourself for your business, for your life, so that you can then lead your team, right? So, uh, yeah, so it really got me thinking as I'm laying there, I uh, uh, need all up, uh, you know, doing my teeth. And uh, so what I did, because he was not a talker, and I am, and um, I will have you know that even with all that crap in my mouth, with the x-rays in between, oh, I was asking questions. I was getting to know my dentist. I found out that he does enjoy fish tacos at the little um, Mexican restaurant across the street. Um, I thought that it closed down because of a fire. He says, no, it is in fact open. He has four children 
and um, one of his daughters enjoys riding horses and she takes horse riding lessons once a week but they're thinking of upping it and his youngest daughter um, let's see she wants to do karate because she did softball and she's just really not feeling it the oldest son is off to college he used to like baseball but he really only played for three years you see what's happening here um, we're chatting. I'm learning about him because the more I know about him, uh, it tells me, it just tells me a lot about this man. And also for me, I get a real good feel for who he is. Um, you know, next time I see him, I can ask about his children. Now you may be thinking to yourself, Sherry, does he wear makeup? Why are you doing this? You know what? I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing this, but it can never hurt. It could be that I'm doing this to practice. It could be, see, I like to plant seeds all up and down the road everywhere I go. I don't know what's going to come of this. Nothing may come of this. Something amazing may come of this. I don't know. I didn't meet the office lady. Her name's Michelle. She's delightful. We talked on the phone. And, um, she may come back and he could say, wow, that's Sherry Brown. She's a talker or, oh, she has a direct sales, you know, works for a direct sales company. Oh, she's got an international makeup business. Oh, she's da, 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 da. And so the next time I go in, I can say, hi, Michelle, you weren't here last time. And da, 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 we had a lovely chat and da, ma, 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 ma. like, she's going to know who I am. And maybe he didn't mention me at all. See, we don't know. We don't know. But what I have found is you plant those seeds everywhere you go. You use it as practice to, to hone your conversation skills. Because um, I know you found yourself in awkward predicaments when the silence is deadening, right? Deafening? The silence is deafening, not deadening. It's deaf. And it's awkward. And you know... I like to fill that silence with words. I like to ask questions. I like to make commentary. And sometimes people look at me like I have three heads, but you know, I don't care. And you know why I don't care? Because I'm doing it to entertain myself. Because it ultimately is all about me, right? Right? I'm entertaining myself. I don't give a hoot what someone else thinks about me. I'm working my biz, I'm planting my seeds, and even if somebody thinks you're a wackadoodle, they're gonna say, wow, she's a wackadoodle. She's a really nice wackadoodle, though. She's funny, she's entertaining, okay? Now, some people have a really hard time, Have many of you have a hard time having conversations with people and you just don't know what to say. And I'm telling you, instead of worrying about what you're gonna say about yourself, find out about them. Because when you walk away from a conversation with somebody and you have been asking them questions about them, they're going to think you're awesome. You're going to walk away and they're going to go, wow, she's awesome. Oh, I don't really know too much about her. Because <laughs> she was talking all about me. But you know what? It's that saying, people don't remember always what you say, but they remember how you made them feel. You're going to make them feel good. And then the next time you see them, they're going to say, oh my gosh, hi, how are you? And then you have another conversation, okay? Rome wasn't built in a day. We do this baby steps, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. My favorite thing is to have multiple conversations with people to the point where they ask me, Sherry, what do you do? I always see you working on your phone. I always see, you you know, what do you do for a living? Uh, because when they ask me what I do for a living, the whole energy of of it shifts. They're open. They're interested. It's not me like pecking them to death. You know, I sell makeup. I sell makeup. I sell makeup. No. Hmm. Hmm. I'm self-employed. They know that I'm self-employed. What is it you do? Oh. Well, you know, and I learned this from Big Al. I learned this from Big Al. Big Al taught me. I say, well, <clears throat> you know how it's really hard to make ends meet on one income? Well, I show women 
how, wait a minute, what do I do? <laughs> it takes practice. See, I'm not perfect. But I say, you know how it's hard to make ends meet on one income? Well, I show women and stay-at-home moms how to make money without leaving their home. <laughs> See, I did it. I did it. This does not come easy. It doesn't come easy even to me. But we practice, and we do it over and over and over. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. That's what we do. Yeah. Wackadoodle. I'm telling you. I enjoy a good wackadoodle. So I have to go inside right now. And um, I wasn't sure if I would have time to do this Facebook Live, which is why I did not advertise it. I had to get the kiddos off to school. I had to get my, had to get my lashes on. And I'm wearing palette number four. Look at that. I am only wearing two colors from palette four. I'm wearing the lightest one and then the, um, if I was a really good leader, I would tell you the name of it, but I don't remember the name of it. And you wouldn't know the name of it, would you? Do you? Some of you do. I know you do. I don't know the name. I'm wearing the lightest and then the next brown next to it. The lightest brown. Isn't that fun? Yeah. And then my lashes. Okay, wait. I have a head... <clears throat> I have a headband on and my glasses don't want to go on over it. Okay. All righty. Tender. Thank you. See, Christine. Christine knows. I'm sorry. I just didn't know. Oh, hi, Mr. Mooney. <laughs> okay. I got to run inside, guys. Go ahead. If you have any um, comments or questions, go ahead and post them. And I will, um, I will check it out and just... Practice having conversations with people. Would you please, would you please, if this is a challenge for you, would you please go find a book? Would you please go find an audio? Would you please go to YouTube and Google conversation skills, speaking skills, stuff like that. It's just, it's just the personal conversations. You just, you just need to learn how to chat with people and keep it lighthearted. Keep it I keep reconnecting. This is not, but it is not rocket science and it just takes practice and you have to be more interested in the other person than you are worried about looking silly. Okay. All right. Love you guys. Thanks. Have a great Friday. Goodbye. Okay,